Well, welcome back to another week. We got some more trick tips with our ramp rats and uh, well, let's see who's home. We talked about eating in the bathroom. So we want to do the nollie flips and uh, as someone who's never done or even tried a nollie flip, what are the tricks I'm going to need to know before doing it? Best, best thing you could probably learn is nollie, like just a normal nollie, and then a kickflip, you know? That uh, makes a whole lot of sense, and I gotta wonder, never doing a nollie flip, I have done fakie flips, which seems similar. Is that gonna help at all? Is it worth trying out, or is it kind of uh, superfluous? A little bit, yeah. I think a fakie flip would be good for you to know because you're kind of moving your momentum in the same way, but you're just popping with different feet. Almost as if what today we're gonna do is a switch fakie flip. Pretty much, yeah. Well, the nollie flip, uh, maybe not the most difficult trick, but not easy either. And I'm wondering, what are the common things that go wrong that prevent us from rolling away on a nollie flip? Number one thing is probably not flicking hard enough or just flicking all wrong. Because then the board just goes like that, and you land like that. It's not fun. So, in order to get a good flick, where are you putting your feet? Uh, to set up for your nollie flip. So pretty much, you're gonna want your back foot right right underneath the back bolts, just like a normal kick flip you would, and then your front foot is gonna go right in the concave, in the, the right pocket if you're goofy like me. I think that's how it goes. You win some, you lose some, and uh, you fumble your way through life, and maybe I'll get those nollie flips, but I appreciate the help, and I feel closer than I did before, so. Yeah, no problem. You're definitely getting there. Just uh, keep working on it, and you might be able to do it someday. Right on. Well, have a good one, man. We'll see you later. You too, man. Oh, hey, what we'll we talking about? 